Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and today we're going to be bringing you the 2018 Aquatic Experience. This is the third video in the series, but today we're going to be looking at the vendor displays. There were a lot of cool fish tanks and I would love to hear from you in the comments section below which one was your favorite, which one inspired you. I know for me personally there were a lot of tanks there that gave me some ideas of some things I could do in our fish room, so stay tuned. All right, so here we are at the Aquatic Experience in the Meadowlands, Secaucus, New Jersey. We're walking up to the front door here on Friday morning. Really exciting time. Looking forward to seeing what we've got coming. And then here we've got what's going on as soon as you walk into the front area. This is right before it opened. Welcome to the Aquatic Experience. This is what it looks like as soon as you walk in. Kasha from Creative Pet Keeping. Amber from Big City Bettas is over there. They kind of beat us in there. But this is the view right when you walk in. A lot of display tanks, a lot of cool looking stuff. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a quick walk around here. We're gonna speed things up and we're gonna stop at the really cool, important uh, display tanks. Uh, again, this is Friday morning, so there's not a ton going on just yet. The aquatic experience had just opened. Uh, this is the first year that they were in Secaucus, New Jersey. And there are a lot of tanks to look at, a lot of cool display tanks. In the previous videos, we showed you what the vendors were, what the vendors brought. We showed you some of the uh, Aquascape tanks. So if you haven't seen those, I will put links up in the right-hand corner for you to take a look. But there was a lot of cool stuff going on, as you can see. A lot of vendors, a lot of tanks, a lot of aquatic life. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. This was one of the tanks that you see when you first walk in the door. You got some sturgeon there. Uh, obviously, this is not a large enough tank for them long term. You're going to pretty much need a river in your backyard if you want to keep these things successfully throughout the course of their life. And they may very well outlive you. So, But it's a cool display. And here we've got a nice little display of some Embuna cichlids. And so I think there might have been a couple of peacocks in there. I don't remember exactly. Uh, here we go. We've got another really interesting tank. Some cichlids, some peacocks in here. And what I like about these display tanks is it gives us ideas. It shows us some of the things that we can do. And maybe they're not quite as advanced as some of what we see with the aquascaping contests. Uh, this was a nice little better display. This is the, Fu, uh, the Fluval booth. Nice looking tanks. I really like this one. Uh, nice rainbows. A lot of really cool jungle valve. Cool stuff going on. We've got some Severums in there as well. Uh, this was an awesome tank. I love the wood. I love the plants. Check out that Royal Pleco. That thing is pretty, pretty awesome. So really nice size Pleco. But this is one of those tanks where you can get lost in this tank for a long time looking at it. And every time I looked at this tank, I found something new. Uh, those are pretty cool. They look like Akara, possibly uh, some type of South American cichlid. We've got some giant Danios in there as well. So really nice tank. I love the plants. I love the rock work. This is the type of tank where you can really just get lost in the aquascape. This was another really nice display tank. Again, relatively simple. And this is something I think perhaps a lot of us could accomplish in some of our home tanks. Uh, nice use of wood and plants. Uh, some really cool rainbow fish. Lots of variety there. Like that quite a bit. Uh, here's another nice looking tank. More of a cube. Uh, some pretty cool angel fish. We've got some what looks to be bleeding heart tetras along with some other fish. Again, really like it. And we see down here we've got some more tetras. Very nice. This is a smaller tank. I thought this was interesting. I uh, just got a bunch of honey grammies in there. So if you're ever looking for a like a centerpiece fish for a smaller tank, the honey garami is pretty cool. Uh, moving on over. This tank wasn't quite ready yet. It looked a little bit cloudy like water was still settling in. But the, the tank itself looked pretty awesome. Uh, and then here, this is kind of interesting. We've got some live bearers here. Uh, a lot of these tanks up front, they actually were raffled off. So people at the end of the aquatic experience got to win those. Uh, here's another cool tank. And I believe this was also a tank that was auctioned off. We've got a lot of barbs in here. So that was kind of the idea. I really like the plants and the rock work there. This was another smaller tank probably somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, maybe seven to 10 gallons or so. Uh, we've got the electric blue rams, which are pretty nice looking. This is a very simple tank, but again, something I think a lot of us could do at home. Uh, we've got some rasboras going on there, some rock. I like the sand, very nice. Uh, this was another display with some tiger barbs. This was on the smaller side. And again, yet another one, uh, smaller tank. 
and again lots of plants very nice come over to the zoo med tank this is the 50 gallon low boy that i have in our fish room and it's got the malties in it but i wanted to show you this because there's other things you can do with this tank i really like the idea of growing plants out of the top i've thought about doing that myself uh, this was the custom aquariums booth they had some pretty sweet setups here this is a corner unit and it had some neons and a whole bunch of uh, wood and some plants i liked this because it had an area where fish could hide but there was also lots of open area where you could find fish swimming this was the other tank they had it wasn't necessarily set up obviously to display livestock or hardscaping it was really all about their seamless sump system and here we have another pretty interesting display uh, lots and lots of plants and then of course you have to have a gold glow fish display and so that's what we've got there not necessarily for me but it's definitely kind of cool looking uh, here's yet another one a nice little planted tank uh, with a little bit I don't know if there was any livestock in there I don't remember uh, this is again something I think that it could be easily replicated at home I'm really starting to like this lighter back backdrop the, the only concern I would have is if there's a little bit of algae that's going to show more than it would on a black substrate or a black background uh, here we've got some green tiger barbs some nice looking plants these were super cool these are albino geophagus I liked these fish a lot they certainly stood out I wish we were closer to home because these were fish that I would have probably wanted to buy uh, this was an interesting tank again now for here with this tank you've got a lot of fish in this tank that would not be able to inhabit uh, and I, I don't remember the size of this tank it was probably around a 150 but you've got some stingrays you've got some predatory fish you've got arowana and they're displaying them obviously they're young but all of these fish would requ would require a much 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 larger tank than this but at least in terms of their current size and the way it was laid out it was pretty cool and we have another large glow fish display tank i believe this was a 125. Uh, this was an, a nice rainbow display tank i thought it was pretty cool uh, I think if it were me, I'd probably paint that background. I would have done something with the background just to make the fish stand out a little bit more. But I definitely like the use of plants. The substrate looked really nice. Uh, and of course, the display of rainbows was pretty cool as well. And then we come on over here. And again, this is a nice display. It looks like some rummy nose tetras and some plants. And I think I see some severums over there. So very nice. This was a much smaller tank, pretty cool. I like these, it was kind of like an aquaponics thing going on where you've got water that's coming from the top and it's running through all those plants. And at the bottom, you've got some space for uh, some aquatic life. Uh, so that was kind of an interesting display for all three of these tanks, but I especially like the first one. Then we come over here and again we've got nice use of stone nice use of plants again these weren't the aquascape tanks these were just tanks that were displayed uh, at the vendor booths so got a betta in here this was actually from the international betta uh, congress so that was kind of an interesting little tank they had there and again this is a tank that's on the smaller size love the red plants uh, that's something i'm hoping at some point i'm going to add some more live red plants to some of my tanks We'll have to see. This was a nice few display tanks. Uh, Kessel was there. Their lights are pretty high end, so they can cost a little bit of money, but they are definitely cool, programmable. Now, this was an interesting booth. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. We've got some, some tanks, and in the backs of these tanks, there are actually iPads, and the iPads are obviously showing different backgrounds. So you've got real fish mixed in with you know electronic devices going on in the back now for me personally I'm not sure if it's something I would do but if somebody thought it was cool by all means go ahead but yeah so you've got real fish in the back you've got it's almost like they could watch a big screen TV so it was kind of interesting I actually think that was my favorite this one right here where you've got like the river that was interesting so here's the current booth I really like this so the background changes colors that was interesting uh, you know, super simple display, but the main point here is if you look at the background, uh, you've got a little bit of color change going on. Uh, H2O plants had a pretty cool display tank right here. At least I thought so. So a lot of plants, a lot of hardscaping materials. Definitely a cool little display on the corner of his booth. Uh, they were busy pretty much the whole time. 
and then over here I love the use of stone on this tank not a lot of plants but this is the Dennerlay uh, Dennerlay tank they had a nice booth there as well with some pretty nice tanks and then here's another one pretty awesome use of rock work and plants and these are the types of tanks I think that a lot of us could possibly accomplish at home uh, this was a nice simple uh, sort of display no plants it was kind of dark which was cool I like the contrast with the sand and the stone uh, nice looking fish as well and then these were some of the larger uh, display tanks here we've got uh, some cichlids I see an archer fish in there that was at least 150 gallon if not more uh, nice little uh, tank here I like the use of the wood and the plants and then they've got some clear looking rocks which I think is supposed to kind of mimic some kind of a, a river and this is a nice little display as well maybe around a five to seven gallon so that was pretty cool as well so I hope you enjoyed that. The aquatic experience is a wonderful time. If you get an opportunity to go there next year, it's going to be in New Jersey once again. I highly recommend it. It's just nice to be around a lot of other fish people, talking shop and looking at fish and enjoying them. So if you like this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.